All right, next order of business is putting in a navigation menu. So uh, to start, I'm going to just apply a background color to this uh, main content div so uh, I could see things a bit easier because so, I'm going to add a little bit of um, padding and margins and that kind of stuff and I want to be able to see exactly what I'm doing. Um, let me make it white. Okay, there's a white background. So now let me add padding around this whole thing because I don't want any of the content, navigation menu, anything to be congested, you know, like right up to the border of it. So I'm going to add padding and let's just say 10 pixels and that'll give me a 10 pixel border all over. Okay, give, give me a bit unexpected results um, up top over here but I won't sweat that for right now I'm gonna I could do the fine fine tuning a little bit later so let me insert a navigation menu uh, navigation menu the navigation menu I'm gonna make is gonna be with of course an unordered list what else would you use so um, let's start with just that um, when I go here uh, what do I have I have home and let's see, I'm going to start with home and maybe I could have Dreamweaver do something slick for me and generate some of this code. Uh, almost. So at least it did that much for me. And what I'm going to do here is add the pound sign and now, here we go. I'm just trying to figure out the fastest way I could do this. Okay, so here's home. I'll just copy and paste this four times. What do I have? Home, pictures, videos, and contact. And I set them all up real quickly. All right, great. So now it's time to actually make these uh, horizontal. So what I could do is target my individual <clears throat> list items within the main content and I'll add to that the display inline attribute and this should give me cool that's exactly what I wanted to happen I wanted these things to be horizontal instead of vertical now I want to kind of push these over to the right over here so how would I do that well if you recall uh, on on block level elements float is what does the job but we can't put float right now on our um, individual list items because we set display inline on there as um, as their property so but why target each one of these individually when we could target the whole unordered list that it's in so check this out I'm just gonna take this code I already created I'm going to go here and I'm going to create UL and I'll go float right beautiful and this should cool have the desired effect now you know that the issue with float right is that <clears throat> it floats this to the right and all the other elements kind of go up in the document flow uh, that's why header over here is sort of in the same horizontal uh, plane as uh, the unordered list. That may be fine with you, <clears throat> or that may not be cool, um, but instead of like adding padding or doing anything like that, if you actually want to push that header down a bit, well, target the header, uh, main content, h1, and since we floated the uh, the the UL on ordered list, you need to clear whatever is underneath it if you want to make sure it falls underneath the element instead of to the left or to the right of it, depending on which way you floated it. So I just go clear right since I floated it to the right, and voila, uh, there she is. So we're pretty much set. There's one other thing that I want to do to my unordered list, and that's add some spacing to this thing and what I could do I could add spacing between these elements by simply adding some padding to them either padding left or padding right now if I add padding right I'm gonna get extra spacing between each one of these over here and it's gonna give me the desired effect but at the same time it's gonna to add to the spacing away from the border but I may like this spacing just the way it is so that's easily resolved by just adding padding left to these things and it'll push them right over so I'm gonna do 
adjust that to my uh, there we go to my inline padding left and let's just say 0.5 em so about a half of the m value and it added a little bit of spacing very cool and if I want to be even cooler um, since I'm just cruising over here I could get rid of that text decoration now let's see use Dreamweaver's hint view text decoration and I'll do none and now very nice I am closer to where I want to go